Hey everybody, so today I am going to be showing you guys how to make this crock pot lasagna that my family and I love so much. It's pretty simple, so let's go ahead and get started with the recipe. First off, I just wanted to show you guys the things that you're going to need for this recipe. First, you're going to need a box of lasagna noodles. It's important you don't get the oven ready, just traditional lasagna noodles, whatever brand that you like. Next, you are going to be needing some tomato sauce. You need between 40 to 50 ounces of however you want to do it. I go towards 40 ounces because our family doesn't like as much sauce, but if you love sauce in your lasagna and you want a whole bunch, definitely go more towards 50. And then you're also going to need a container of ricotta cheese, and then you also need a container of Parmesan cheese, and then you're also going to need a 8 ounce block of mozzarella or an 8 ounce bag of shredded mozzarella, whatever you prefer. And then you're also going to need 2 tablespoons of minced garlic. I just like this jarred stuff, it makes it super simple and easy, but you could also press your own. And then you're only going to need two seasonings really. That is Italian seasoning and garlic salt. You're going to need about two tablespoons of the Italian seasoning. I'm showing you the ingredients list in case you can't find this exact one. And then you're just going to need about a teaspoon of the garlic salt. And then lastly, you are going to need one pound of cooked meat, whether that's turkey or beef, whatever you prefer. Use whatever seasonings you would like to make it. I use steak seasoning in Italian. Here I'm showing you the ingredients list for the steak seasoning in case you need to find something similar. But this is what we use to season our meat. And then lastly, I am using my six quart crock pot to cook this all in. Mine is a Hamilton Beach model. You can find them pretty much anywhere. So the first real step of the recipe is to empty your tomato sauce into a bowl because you're going to be mixing it with your ground meat. Now if you want to go ahead and skip this step and get some of that jarred tomato sauce that has meat in it, that's great. I would just maybe get a couple jars, that way you have like ample amount of meat in it and then you just set that aside because we're all done with that. And then you want to pull out a separate bowl and then with that you are going to be putting all of the cheeses together or almost all of them. You're going to be putting the ricotta, the parmesan, the seasoning, and also the minced garlic together. So I'm just getting that all out and ready. You wanna go ahead and you wanna just dump it all into a bowl. So right here, I'm just putting the ricotta in, and then afterwards, I go ahead and I put the parmesan cheese in. And then after that, I get the garlic going, and then I move on to the seasonings. So you're just gonna throw this all into a bowl and you can just mash it all together. And as you can see, I'm not using a precise tablespoon measuring here, but this is just the way that I cook. I don't really measure anything out, not even the seasonings. Like I said, you need a teaspoon of the garlic salt and that, again, I just gauge as you can see. And then you're gonna need two tablespoons of the Italian seasoning. So once you get all of that going in a bowl, I mash mine up with a fork. It makes it really easy to mix everything. And then I just use that same fork to put it on the lasagna noodles. So this is what it looks like when it's all mixed together. And then you just wanna set both those bowls aside and you're gonna go ahead and shred the mozzarella cheese. I don't think anybody needs instructions on how to do this, and obviously you can skip this step if you buy already shredded bag mozzarella cheese. And then you just want to go ahead and set that to the side as you're going to start putting the lasagna together. So I'm just scooting my crock pot over so we can start working with it. And I find it easier to put the bowls in front of the crock pot, and you just want to put the tomato sauce on the bottom. You do want to put a generous amount on the bottom because, you know, all these noodles are going to be pressing down on it. You don't want anything to burn. So make sure you're moving it around because it can kind of seem like you're not putting a lot in there. And then you want to go ahead and put your lasagna noodle in. But as you can see, mine doesn't fit all the way, so I break it. And then I just put that piece laying right where it would be if it actually fit. And you're going to see a lot of this, you know. I don't have a square crock pot, so these side pieces I just snap in half and I put it on either side of the middle noodle. And then I take another whole lasagna noodle and I just break that up into little pieces to fill in the gaps. And as you can see, we got a little bit of shrapnel going on, which is completely normal. I get lasagna noodle everywhere in my kitchen. When it breaks like that and it's in the crock pot, I don't mess with it. Honestly, you can't tell with this end product that there's pieces or that it was put together odd or anything. And as you can see, the noodles do scoot a little bit, but that's what you have a fork for. You can move them around. It's not really that big of a deal. 
And with the ricotta cheese, I try to make sure that I just don't put too much in one spot. And that's basically the gist of that. And then after you get that ricotta cheese, you just want to go back in with the sauce. And you're going to dump that all over. I just try to put this again all over trying to not have it too much in one spot and the sauce is very important you know this is what's going to keep your noodles nice and moist it's going to keep it from drying out and burning and stuff like that so you want to make sure that you're getting at least decent placement with the sauce and then after the sauce as you can see we're just going back in with the noodle and this is what you're going to do time and time again noodle cheese and then sauce noodles cheese and then sauce and you're just going to keep doing that until your crock pot gets full or you run out of noodles or you run out of cheese or sauce or one of those but i find that typically i am running out of noodles and i'm running out of space in my crock pot at about the same time and as you can see that middle lasagna noodle finally fits so when it does or if you have a square rectangular type crock pot feel free to not break them if you don't need to I just have that oval shaped crock pot so I have to do what I need to do to make lasagna and again you're just repeating this again and again making sure your placement is all right I took my time and really tried to make sure things looked pretty and nice for you guys but on a normal day I do not spend this much time with my lasagna and my family loves it regardless you know your placement really isn't gonna be the biggest deciding factor in how the lasagna tastes that's what the seasonings there for it's why you season your meat and you make sure you have a flavorful sauce and stuff but you do want to make sure you're doing at least a decent job so again you don't burn the noodles or anything and right here I'm just getting down to the last layer I didn't have a whole lot of this left but it's not a big deal and you'll see why here in a second and with this sauce on the top I'm just making sure to get down in all the edges and crevices and then you're gonna take your mozzarella cheese and put it all on the top and you're basically done so you're gonna put this in your crock pot for between four to five hours on high and six to seven hours on low and I'm giving you a shot right now of what it looks like before and now you guys are going to see what it looks like after I did sprinkle a little Italian seasoning on top and throw it on an actual plate but that was just for the thumbnail please know that we normally just throw it on a paper plate and eat it for dinner but I'm just checking the noodles with a fork here and this recipe is something that's made lasagna really easy for me to make my family loves it i love it i think it's really good i hope you guys enjoyed my very first recipe video let me know if you have any comments down below but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching